Hi guys, welcome to my Logic Pro X tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your vocals very quickly and also how to edit them. Guys, I'm back. I'm so sorry that I haven't been online uploading any tutorials. So this is part three and in this tutorial, as I said, I'm going to show you how to edit vocals really quickly and create them very quickly. So I hope this really helps you if you're a rapper or a singer or even a new producer, this may be a useful tutorial for you. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our instrumental is imported, which it is here on audio track one. Um, if you've made your own instrumentals or beats, then it should be already in the project. Now we're going to create another uh, track for your vocals. So the best way to do it is go to track and new audio track. As you can see, there's also a shortcut to the side of it here. So if you like shortcuts, just learn them. They're brilliant. So much easier, quicker way to get things done. So click select, sorry, a <laughs> new audio track. Once that's imported, you may want to put an effect on it. So for example, I tend to like using a female creamy ambient vocal. So if you go into the search box on the left here and start typing in female ambient, you'll see it here. So I'm going to select that because I love the sound of that giving away my secrets again. You wanna, might wanna rename also the um, track. So let's rename that by double clicking on this. It will highlight blue, just delete it and put lead vocal or whatever vocal, whether it's chorus, or whatever, you type in what you want. Then the next one we're going to do is want to record these vocals. So before we start, I'm just gonna show you how um, the instrumental sounds. <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is record the vocals. You may, you won't hear the music playing in the background while I'm recording, but you're gonna hear me recording over and over again. So sorry if it's a bit boring for you to watch this part. Um, I am gonna select the area that I want to record. So once you know the area that you find difficult in recording, um, I would suggest that you just loop that area. So from 19 to 32 for me is the area that I want to record. Well, 19 to 33. Um, so now that we'll loop over and over again, I'm going to sing this section of the song about three times just to give you an idea of what we can do next to make this a quick process. So all I'm going to do is sing this section of the song three times over without it stopping and at the end of that I will show you how to manipulate your vocals and choose the best parts. So here we go. Well I'm going crazy, I don't know what to do. Cause my heart keeps beating more each day for you, oh baby We started off as friends now, I'm so into you Can't believe I waste my time, my energy just for you Well I'm going crazy, I don't know what to do Cause my heart keeps beating more each day for you, oh baby We started off as friends now, I'm so into you Can't believe I waste my time, my energy just on you Well I'm going crazy, I don't know what to do Cause my heart keeps beating more each day for you, oh baby We started off as friends now, I'm so into you Can't believe I waste my time, my energy just on you, yeah So you heard me record the three vocals So the vocals are here, um, this is the main one they're playing So the last vocal I've done is here, the second one I've done is here, and the first one I've done is here. So you can play back the vocals by highlighting which one you want to play by clicking on the track you want to play. Now, as you can see, I didn't actually start singing until just in between 21 and 22. So I'm gonna just pull the loop bar so we can cut out that bit and get straight to the point when I play it back to you. So I'm just gonna play one of them just so you can hear it. Well, I'm going crazy. So 
you can hear there's some sketchy bits in there already. So what you do is, the best way to do it is, if you go where the arrow is and click, sorry, if you click on the arrow here and press the A, click on A, then you'll see all these details, track one, track two, track three. If you select the tracks, it would just, like I said, play you the relevant track that you want to hear. I would suggest that you unpack the tracks to all tr new tracks. So here it says unpack to new tracks, do that then you've got the tracks all aligned underneath each other. Now, also, if you go to the right of the screen at the top, you can make a vertical zoom. And if you go to the right hand side, you can make another zoom, horizontal zoom. So that way you'll be able to edit the vocals a lot better. Um, you might want to also just close off some of the windows by dragging the tiles. Now, if I play this, all of them will play together, watch. Well, I'm gonna be crazy. Now, if I wanted to double up my vocals and I was great at doing that, then that would be a great way of quickly doing it, wouldn't it? Now, as I said, there's some parts I didn't like and there's some parts they did. So just for argument's sake, we're gonna, going to pretend this was like almost perfect in some areas and not in others. So the first thing I tend to do is go up to the top where the toolbar is and select the marquee tool. Also, the marquee tool is this tool here and this tool here. Um, what I tend to do then is then listen to each track. So I know for a fact I liked certain parts in this one. So I'm going to select the, the, la the last vocal and play it. Well, I'm going be crazy. I don't know what to do. Just to say I muted here as well. I muted the other vocals so just hear this. Well, I'm going be crazy. I don't know what to do. See, I didn't like that, don't know what to do. So what you can do there is go, right, I'm definitely not keeping that bit. So you can cut that bit off. So I'm gonna cut that bit, I don't know what to do. So I'm hoping that on one of the other tracks, that will sound better. Keep using a vertical and horizontal zoom to do this. So now, we're here. Well, I'm gonna be crazy. Oh, I like that bit so but I need to fill that gap that I've just deleted so let's see if the other two have a better section there so what you can do instead of listening to the whole thing over again just loop that section so I'm gonna loop from loop from 22 to about sorry from just before 22 to 25 just so I can hear that section and I'm gonna now play it with the other take that I done underneath it because I want to see if the other take underneath is better. So let's go to, actually I'm going to use take four. I'm going to see if take four is better. So unmute take four, leave track two un, um, unmuted as well so you can hear how it blends. And what you can do is literally highlight section of take two and see how it plays. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm like, hmm, that's okay. Highlight on the other track, unmute it and just hear that bit as well. That was really off, so we don't want that one, so let's delete that. So let's hear how it sounded on track five. Let's see how it sounded here. Unmute it, highlight it by dragging the marquee tool to the right. I don't know what to do. Actually, that sounded the right. But you can already see that I'm singing it quiet in track five as opposed to in track four. So what you want to do now is select the section that you want. So let's select um, track four. And all you do is use the marquee tool again to cut out the section you want and how much. So we want to go from there to about there. Um, and then go back up to the tool bar. And instead of using the marquee tool, we're going to go back to the pointer tool. Because the pointer tool would drag that section up for you. So select the pointer tool and then drag that up to fill that gap. Now you saw that that moved. When that happens, just press Command and Z and it will take it back down if you've dragged it wrong. The best thing to do really is use the bar here and push it upwards like that. Now <clears throat> you can see there's a gap here, but that's fine. All you have to do is click on either the section that you just imported 
or the other section on the right and just drag to meet the two bars together. Okay, so let's play that section. Let's mute the other sounds off and just play the lead vocal. Well, I'm going crazy. I don't know what to do. Now, to me, that sounds better. I don't know about you. So I'm not, I can go on and on with this. So basically, all you need to do is listen to each track that you've done. Take bits out, delete bits. Take and delete. So that is the best way to build it, and it's a quick way. So if you know there's a, a word or a line in your song or your, you just think, I can never nail it that that bit always comes out right, but that bit comes out wrong, and then you just record it again, and the bit that you thought was good now comes out wrong. So just record that section over and over again, and then take the best parts and pull it into one track, what I've done here. And once you've done that, you can just delete the other track. So just press, just highlight the track, delete, delete, delete. Then you're just left with that track. And then you can call it, like I said, lead vocal, if it's your lead vocal or whatever. Now, let's hear that whole section back now. And again, I know it's not perfect, but it's just to give you an indication. Well, I'm going crazy. I don't know what to do. Cause my heart can spit it more respect for you, oh, baby. We started up the trends now. So into you. You believe I waste my time, my energy just for you. Yeah. So there you go. And obviously, I know you probably saw that. Um, the stereo out was peaking, but don't worry about that sort of thing right now. In the later tutorials, I'll show you how to compress sounds and make sure everything's fine when you're mastering. So that is the tutorial this week. So it's to create tape folders and comping. Um, if you have any questions, give me a shout. I appreciate I talk a bit fast and I may rush this slightly, but I hope it's helpful tool for you all. And by all means, look out for my next tutorial. And I promise you, I won't be long.com next time. <laughs> Thank you.